Well, every two minutes, a World War II veteran dies, some of them taking with them the untold stories of a pivotal part of history they lived through. In a KX HD News special report, reporter Sophia Stamish shows us those times passed through the eyes of unsung heroes. No one was ever trained to be a POW. By the time this account ends, somewhere another World War II veteran will be gone. 16 million served, but as they die at a rate of about 555 per day, just over a million remain. Bob Bearden dropped into Normandy on D-Day and was soon captured by the Germans. There's hardly enough air to breathe in one of those German boss cars uh, because they put stuff, so many of us, in there. Meanwhile, the lethal American Air Force was bombing the German railway he was trapped on. It has to be the most horrifying experience. Two months later, Sergeant Bearden's mother received this telegram telling her that he had gone missing in action. It was probably reported worse than it was. He was freed seven months later at 98 pounds. When he first called home, his sister had a surprise. It was such a shock to know that I had become an uncle. Not everyone was as lucky, like Billy Blanchard. He was killed, and, and, he, and he was my best friend. Bearden says he owes it to troops like Billy to live life to its fullest. And I watched so many go, and they were just as much or more heroic than I ever was. Even recently snowboarding in their honor. I had to look, look back and wonder, why him and not me? Ben Russell is a survivor, too. We were getting there for Sunday morning. It was just unreal. He lived through Pearl Harbor, then spent five years fighting in the Pacific. Families of those recently laid to rest want these stories to be known. Normandy vet Buzz Glover died in 2011. I know a, a lot of children that don't even know what World War II was. Bearden radiates joy despite all he's endured. It has been rewarded me so many times by living this great life. When I can look back and see how many times I should have been snowed. Uh, Sophia Stamas reporting in 2010, Bearden founded a local drug rehabilitation center for veterans. Now tonight at 10, one woman's dedication to preserving stories like his.